My name is Sergio Galvin, and my SoundCloud is Sergio Galvin Music. I'm 17 years old. I've been making music for a year and a half, and I'm going to teach you guys how to make music. I've always loved music, and after going to multiple concerts and seeing, like the, seeing and feeling the vibe that everyone gives off at concerts, it made me want to make music that was able to give people that vibe, that happiness. What I aspire to do in my music career is to be able to get paid for doing what I love. Producing music, DJing music, whatever it leads to. Go. So, what I want to show you guys is that you can make music out of anything. And that's one of the things that led me to make music. So let's say this piece of metal. If you smack it, it makes a noise. And I'm going to show you guys how to sample this sound. This is a program I use. Uh, it's called Ableton Live 9. This is where I make most of my music. So let me go ahead and show you guys what everything here is. Right here on the left hand side, you're gonna have different sounds, drums, instruments, you know, all of your uh, categories. So, and I have my personal ones here where I have sample packs where it sounds that I like and that I use. That's pretty much uh, the basic part of that. This right here is just like a horizontal view of the song. When you make a song, it would pretty much be in this, but just in different layers. So it's like a very long hamburger. Each layer has a different sound. Eventually, it all comes out to one big song. Now that you guys kind of understand how to use the software, um, we're gonna go ahead and open up the tutorial that I made. So I finished the beat because it would be pretty boring for you guys to watch me do this because honestly it takes a good two hours to get something okay. Uh, it, it always really depends. This is gonna be the main sample that we're gonna be using. That being the first sample, this is what I made. I made it kind of like a clap. This is what it sounds like when it has like a kick. My first sample one, I looped it and made it very short. And when I play that on the piano, this is what it's gonna sound like. Sample number two is going to be the same loop but it's played at a lower uh, octave, which makes it bass. I could just play... If we listen to what I put right here, this is what it sounds like. Those are the three samples that I made from that little smack. Uh, as you can tell, it's gonna make, a, make up a good portion of the song. Uh, what I decided to do was to add vocals to it as well because uh, I know a lot of people don't really listen to instrumental music as often. And I put them in there, I made it sound okay. And let me go ahead and play it for you guys. You guys can probably listen to it. Try to spot all of the different elements from that little smack thing that I showed you. Climb over. song that I've made but for the purpose of showing you guys that you can sample real-world sounds and make them sound okay in, in songs this is the best that I could do all different sounds all different music <laughs> 